Welcome back to the workshop here for Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, we're going to be showing you a video here that we've had a lot of requests for um, and that's how to remove the action from a spinet or a drop action piano. Um, you know, so it's a little more involved than, than just a regular uh, console or studio or upright piano in that um, the action is uh, dropped down below the le back level of the backs of the keys. Um, and so there's uh, more involved in taking the action out. So I've had a lot of requests on um, from, from some of you as viewers uh, wanting to know how to take the action out of a spinet piano. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Um, now when you've got, when we talk about a spinet or drop action piano, generally the spinet pianos are the shortest pianos. They're usually up to about uh, roughly 40 inches tall or so. Um, and the, the thing that makes it a drop action, um, which most spinet pianos have, is that, and I'm going to get you closer here, um, is that the length of the keys is much shorter and it doesn't go all the way to the back and the action which is this whole mechanism here which we're going to be removing with the hammers and the whippins and all the parts that make the that move when it, when a hammer when a note plays um, uh, we're going to be taking that out and that is dropped down below the level of the backs of the keys. Of course the hammers are still above it but all the whippins and um, everything else is down here below the level of the backs of the keys and what it's what it's what it is is attached um, the back of the key is attached by a drop lifter wire which you'll be able to better see once the once we have the action out but um, basically what we have to do is we have to remove um, and uh, I should say these wires these uh, lifter wires are attached to the back of the key by a um, by a rubber lifter grommet. Okay, these happen to be the square type. And generally, if you can see, I'm going to try to get you a little closer here. If we look at the uh, backs of these keys, um, we've got uh, a rubber grommet here. Okay, and what basically what we do is we push on the top of the wire, and that pushes, pulls that uh, that grommet out of the back of the key. And if I pull the key out you can see there's a fork in the end of that okay and that's what the that uh, rubber grommet um, goes into to attach it to the key so then there's a wire um, or I should say a, it's, it's really a steel rod that goes down and we'll get a better look at that once we have the action out that goes all the way down to the um, action part okay so by pushing the key down it pulls up on the wire which um, you know pulls um, pulls up on the on the whip and on the bottom so uh, the first thing we have to do is take all of these rubber grommets off of the end of the keys okay so that's what I'm going to do next I'm just going to go here and and um, pull them off the backs of the keys so I'm going to go through and do that okay so as you may be able to see we've got all the um, the lifter wires disconnected from the backs of the keys. The next step we're going to have to do, now you don't have to do this, but I certainly find it a lot easier to uh, to take the action out if um, if all the keys are out of the way, because they do stick out some, and the more clearance you have, the easier it is. So the next uh, step, and taking the keys out of a piano are um, fairly easy, you know, so once you've got all of the all of the um, the lifter wires and the grommets uh, disconnected from the the forks at the end of the keys. You'll just take the keys out, and when you take the keys out, basically you just lift them up. They set on these pins. Of course, here we got the front rail pin, the balance rail pin. Um, so we're just I'm going to go ahead and just take those out now. Of course, one thing you want to make sure of when you're taking keys out of a piano is that. Um, you keep them in order because um, if you get them out of order it's uh, quite a job to um, to get them back together and one thing you want to make sure now this one has uh, numbers etched into the each key so if I did if they did get out of order it wouldn't be too bad but um, if they don't have numbers on them because not all pianos have um, numbers on the keys you can go through and take a pencil and and write a number on each one or you can draw a line to um, you know, to uh, like a a diagonal line across the 
across the keys to, to get them in, in order, and uh, that makes it a little bit easier. But if you just number them, that makes it a little bit easier. So that's suggested when, when you're taking the keys out, if they don't have numbers on them already, you just number them from one at the bass end uh, all the way up to number 88 on the, on the high treble uh, top end. So, um, so make sure you do. So that's what we're going to do next is take all of the keys out of the piano. So as you can see here now, we've gotten all the keys taken out of the piano. Um, uh, I actually took a vacuum through here because there was quite a bit of dust, which you'll most commonly find if unless it's been taken apart recently. But uh, as you can see, all the all of the uh, keys are out of the keys out of the piano. Uh, right here, we've got the balance or the front rail pins, balance rail pins, and that's those are the things that the keys set on. Um, uh, but over here, you can see. Are the drop lifter wires okay? If I pull up on it, okay, that would be kind of simulating the the key pull, the back of the key pulling up on the. And you can see it pulls up on the wire. So what we're going to have to do, uh, because all these wires are just kind of loose, hanging here loose, in order to get the uh, action out, uh, is you have to tie those or um, secure those wires up against the action somehow. So we're going to I'm going to show you um, how we're going to do that. So here we are underneath uh, the key bed. Okay, if we look up here, there we've got the action and the pins. And we're going to go down here underneath the key bed, and here we can see the action from from underneath um, underneath the key bed. And this is uh, this is the rest of the action. It's still hard to see because it's kind of behind the key bed, but here we can see the. Um, the lifter wires, okay, and those are always um, attached to what's called an elbow, okay, because it's kind of an L elbow shape here, okay. But the bottom of the wire, this is the this is the lifter wire right here that we saw the top of before, okay, and it goes into this elbow which attaches to the whippin, okay. So that pushes up on the on the on the um, whippin and the action parts and gets make makes things move. So what we have to do is. Um, I'm going to take a cord, a rope, um, or you can take uh, anything that uh, we'll be able to tie. And what we're going to do is take one uh, section of of uh, cord and uh, take it all the way across all of the all of the lifter wires so that they can be pushed up and and, and suspended or held up against the action. So that we t when we take the action out, now they're not flopping around. Okay, so what we've got here is we've tied up all of the um, all of the drop lifter wires um, so that they're up against the um, the action so that they won't be flopping around when we go to take the action out of the piano. Uh, what I did, I just took one piece of cord, I tied it um, on the around the action bracket. Whoop, there we go, around the action bracket on this end, um, and then I strung it across um, behind all of the lifter wires, and then I strung it through each of the action brackets, you know, so that it's um, holding each of the sections of lifter wires in place. So then what I did at the other end, once I've got it nice and tight, is I tied it um, around the, the base end action bracket so that um, all of the action, all of the lifter wires um, are up against the uh, up against the action so that uh, they won't be again they won't be flopping around when when we go to take the action out now um, the other thing I've done is I've taken the uh, the pedal rods the rods that uh, that are underneath um, uh, that are connected to the pedal mechanisms and that go up to the action and I disconnected those so they're out of the way there was a there was a, a pedal rod here that uh, for the soft pedal for the left pedal, um, and the other thing we next thing we want to do is we want to take the um, action bracket bolt knobs off here. So there's four of those here on this piano. So I'm going to remove those. Another thing you want to check um, is, and this piano doesn't have it, but some pianos do, is that um, Sometimes the action brackets, which you know, if you don't know, these are the action brackets. They're the things that um, the whole action is held together by. But those action brackets, sometimes they're screwed down to the board that the that the action sets on underneath. Okay, I'm going to take you down here 
we don't want to cover you up there, but um, I'm going to take you down here and we're going to take a look at, um, you can see the bottom of those action brackets are setting on posts and that's the most common thing. These aren't screwed down, but sometimes they are. The action brackets are actually just screwed to the uh, to this board right here, this board. But um, there's a post, okay, and there's the bottom of the action bracket that just sits on the post, okay. And so there's going to be four of those um, that because there's four action brackets. So so these are just sitting there. I can I can see that. So I can, should be able to lift the action right up out of the piano. Um, so, get you back into our holder here, and um, get you into be able to see a good view of what we're doing here. Um, so then, what we're going to do once we've, we've got the action bracket bolt knobs off, uh, the pedals are out, the lifter wires are uh, held in place, I'm just going to pull these action brackets off of the posts that... Um, that are holding on. So here we've got the action that um, can be moving. Now one thing you want to be careful of is that um, you don't have, uh, as you take the action out, um, you want to be careful of these damper uh, felts that they don't get caught on these posts. Okay, I've been there, done that um, type of thing. But um, you want to be careful so that you clear those, otherwise those damper felts can fall off. So, as you lift it off of the posts, you're going to have to tilt it a little bit and then just lift it right out. And I'm just going to set it here on the key end blocks. Now, not all actions, spinet actions, will sit um, on feet. These have, these have feet. Um, let's see if we can get, there we go. So we can, you can see the feet on the bottom of the action brackets. Uh, that they're set on. Some of them are just, uh, you know, one, one foot posts, so they won't. They'll they'll tip over if you try to set it on on something solid. So then you'll have to have it like a um, an action cradle. Which to do any work on on, on a spinned action or an upright action, you want to have an action cradle as the least suggested, so that um, you know it's nice and stable when you're when you're working on it. But here we've got the action out. Uh, we can set it on our workbench, and I'll show you in just a moment here. Once we get it, once we set it over on the workbench, uh, it's a little more detail about the action of this spinet piano. So basically, at this point, we, uh, it looks like a regular um, upright or vertical piano spinet or vertical action, except of course for these lifter wires. Okay. Um, that's the only, basically the only difference in a regular uh, console or upright um, piano. You'd have, uh, you know, the, the this part or the which is called the whippin was would be sitting right on top of the capstan, which is on the back of the keys. Um, you know, so but other than that, all the rest of the parts are the same. Here we get a better close-up look at the lifter wires. Here we got a lifter wire. It goes. Um, this of course was attached to the back of the key. And it goes down here and attaches to an elbow, which um, uh, attaches to the uh, to the to the whip in there. So um, that's basically the way that you use that you would do to um, remove a spinet or drop lift drop um, action from a piano. And um, again, it's a little more complicated than you'd have on a on a regular, but it's it's certainly um, not doable. It just takes a some a little bit extra time uh, and a little bit of experience, hopefully, to to get comfortable with it. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. And our website is howardpianoindustries.com.